Ford is thanking customers with uh, photos of their vehicles. Now this is by Bronco Nation. Now today Ford sent customers the uh, communication. They wanted to give you a look into the journey that your Bronco took from the factory floor to your driveway. Now they sent them a photo of the Bronco moments after exiting the assembly line. Now, after you finish admiring it and all of this Bill Wild glory, you can check out the video detailing the final steps of building your Bronco. Now you can think of it as a thank you for sticking with us, for your patience, your loyalty to the Ford family, and your love for the Bronco. They can't wait to wear your Bronco, to know where your Bronco takes you. Share your adventures by tagging Ford Bronco. See you out there, the entire Bronco team. Now in the video, uh, Ford Link gives you a teaser at all the stops that your Bronco makes at the factory before it can get into your driveway. Now, one of the members gave them additional insight into the final testing process to make sure the Bronco is perfect. And um, that was Slash Racer. Now, according to his friend at the uh, Michigan Assembly Plant, this is reportedly what happens once your Bronco comes off the line. Once the vehicles come off the uh, final assembly line, they're immediately taken to the wheel alignment headlight saying, Waha, to make sure the vehicle tracks right and doesn't have any casters that camber or tow problems. And the wheels are perfectly straight with the steering. Now after the Waha certification, they go to the dyno. Not every single vehicle Ford builds goes to the dyno. They get put on a set of front and rear rollers and a series of checks is run on the entire system. They make sure the trans doesn't engage into gear when it's not supposed to. They check the 4x4 and the two-wheel drive systems. They drive the vehicle and rollers at various speeds through different tests and power loads. Max AC and auto start stop are turned off. They run the vehicle through every gear up to around 70 to 80 miles per hour sitting still. Then they check the braking performance and the wide open throttle, WOT, W-O-T. Now that test usually takes about two and a half minutes to complete. Once that's complete, the entire vehicle pass is certified system to not have any mechanical failures or issues. Sometimes vehicles fail for various reasons. Different sensors are not following the prompts correctly. Once the dyno is complete, they pull it forward into a static testing area where they go over every single electrical component in the vehicle. Windows, wipers, gauges, locks, AC tent, horn, and every single bulb there is imaginable gets turned on and checked. Once those get all cleared and passed, the Bronco is certified and goes either to the repair area. Now if something needs to be repaired or if it all passes, it goes on to the water line where it's blasted with water from every single direction, which is a nice test. And this happens up to two or three minutes. And this is what they have to do to check for leaks to make sure that there are no leaks. And once it passes the water line, it's certified and goes to additional testing uh, of other things. You can imagine all the different components that it must go under, like verifying the hood, the pad retainers, the pins, the HVAC system, uh, the pressure lines, make sure they're all capped, and a few other tests. What an awesome, awesome test, folks. Now, I wrap this at the section of each line. And it takes a picture of each Bronco and emails the customer a picture of their truck. Stating it's almost ready for delivery. That's a good thing. You can imagine how it must feel to see your vehicle. Something that you long for. And seeing it get here. In your driveway. Now if it passes the water line. Then it's certified. Uh, that's an awesome thing. Then it rolls through a tunnel of lights. Where inspectors check for scratches, uh, scuffs, nicks, chips, and all kinds of, kinds of things that would make you so upset if you 
got your vehicle and it had dings in it. Once it's clear, it goes on to the rough road test where they drive the vehicle down a series of different terrains, checking for squeaks and rattles. Now the vehicle gets brought off and certified as long as there's no issues. Now it remains in their computers. Now finally, they send the truck out to the mod center for graphics, light bars, and other accessories before being loaded and shipped off to the customer. It's a pretty good thing. And boy, oh boy, this is good news. This is A Automotive Reviews, guys. Thanks for joining us, uh, Bronco Nation. Your Bronco built for thanks to customers with photos of their vehicles. A Automotive Reviews. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by.